really quick video coming at you today. Normally, when you're interacting with decentralized applications, like trading on Uniswap, you need to confirm every transaction in your MetaMask. But this isn't convenient if you're writing scripts to send transactions programmatically. Your arbitrage or copy trading bot wouldn't be very effective if you had to manually sign off on every transaction. Luckily, we can get around this when writing scripts in Node.js with Ethers.js. We can create the equivalent of a signer that you might be used to in your hard hat tests, but we can connect it to your wallet and it can send transactions on your behalf. You'll only need two pieces of information to do this, your wallet secret and your Infura URL. This is a fictional wallet secret and fictional Infura URL. Never share these with anybody. And what we can do with these is use the wallet class from Ethers.js. Const wallet equals new ethers dot wallet. And then we can pass in that wallet secret Then we can set up a provider as usual. const provider equals new ethers dot providers dot json rpc provider, and we can pass in that infra URL. If you don't have an infra URL, just go to infra's website, create a free account, create a project, and then you can get the URL, which gives you quite a few free transactions every day. Then we connect the provider to the wallet, and we're good to go. We'll call this signer. We'll say equals wallet dot connect provider. Because the signer was created with your secret key from your wallet, it has access to everything in your wallet. So be very careful when you're doing this. One wrong move and you could potentially lose all the coins you have. And I didn't mention this yet, but to get your wallet secret, you go and open up your MetaMask, you click on those three dots at the top right, then you click on account details, and then you click export private key. And that is your wallet secret key. Never ever share that with anybody or they can have complete access to everything in your wallet. Now, once we have this, if you've already initialized the contract you want to call a function on, and you already have some params, like this, well, now you can do this. Const transaction one equals await. Um, let's say that we're interacting with a swap router contract. We connect it to our signer, and then we call the function that we want to call. I'm gonna say exact input single to swap from one token to another. We pass in those params we pass in our gas limit and then we could run this to make the transaction obviously i didn't initialize this here i just wanted to give you an example otherwise we could do this const transaction two equals await uh, signer dot send transaction and we could pass in our transaction arguments. Uh, what might those look like? Probably something like this, where you have the address that you want to send it to, where you're sending it from, the gas limit, and then your encoded transaction data. And it's this easy. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful and leave any questions for me in the comments. I'll see you next time.